So here you see the content of the emergency kit which will be part of the perks of the crowdfunding campaign and here is the photo studio you need to create such beautiful pictures as those. So what are you doing right now? This is the writer's studio. It's sitting on the floor with a laptop writing campaign texts. Right now I am writing basically the story of the depression anxiety life hacks. Why we're doing them, how we're doing them, why they matter, and how we came up with the idea in the first place. Hello! Hello. We are Annie and Constantine. And you're watching another episode of You Know Updates. We come to you today from the Depression and Anxiety Life Hacks campaign headquarters. As usual. As usual. And uh, you may have noticed that we have not flooded your social media and inboxes with information about our crowdfunding campaign, and that is because, as was to be expected, some complications arose, and we decided to delay the start of our campaign until after the US election media mayhem madness has passed. Which was always kind of the plan B. We learned from last year's failings and prepared a contingency plan, so it's actually kind of nice to fall back onto that. Yes, because this gives us the chance to craft our message even better and work on things we otherwise would have had to make during the campaign, which will be probably like a stressful time as is. Anywho. Possibly. Yes. So, um, basically it's just a change of plans, but not necessarily bad news, but actually maybe even better. Don't worry though, we will still support you through this upcoming election with some Brian Weasley content and things. And I'm excited and terrified. In other news, we have a first little stand in page for the Depression and Anxiety Life Hacks website. So visit it here on uh, depressionanxietylifehacks.com. Which I can't link to because of the rules of YouTube. So you will have to scroll down a little bit to the doobly-doo and click on the link. This is obviously just a mock-up. I'm very much looking forward to passing that on to a professional who knows what they're doing and can invest to that sort of time and also put it on a professional server and not host it via a free Weebly page and all of those things. So these are the news, I suppose? So um, I'm not ashamed to admit that I have subscribed to the subreddit Get Motivated, which is basically just a conglomeration of inspirational pictures and quotes. I'm still not sure if there's much merit in that or not. There are people who post those inspirational quotes and people who don't have time to post them because they're actually working and doing stuff. And why, why I'm talking about this is there's this notion that at some point you just have to invest all your energy into doing the one thing you love to get the success that is needed to sustain it. And I'm feeling like up until now I've been always driving this two lanes where I would do stuff that I do for money and stuff that is art. Doing art is the thing that I want to do. But still I've invested a lot of energy into the job job career path. And the question that I ask myself is like when is the time to make a switch because if you're honest there will be never a perfect time because that's the whole beauty and the terrifying part of being an artist there is no safety point the only way to get there is to let go at some point and invest all your energy that's at least one way to see it and it's scary why I am telling I'm telling you this is because this week I got a message from an old acquaintance who offered me a job to do the animation stuff for the client that would you know surely make some decent money but would involve quite a commitment in the next weeks which are reserved for the crowdfunding campaign and you you can't have it all so I turned him down but still it's like this this job site which is the easier path because it's a more secure one it will keep knocking and I think at some point you you just have to turn it down knowing that this may mean that at some point it won't anymore that's what I got how do you feel about that? not too bad actually because I'm still in the point where everything is open you know what I mean? it's not like it's, I've turned down my last opportunity right but you want to keep that door open still 
kind of want to have it all. I know. So this is a thing I need to resolve for myself. So, in preparing for the crowdfunding campaign, I have been confronted again this week with the challenge of writing a bio for myself. Writing a bio for yourself is just never an easy task. And in doing so, I kind of revisited my life and the things I've done and the things I'm doing. I've always looked very driven from the outside. I've always looked like I know exactly what I want and I'm going out to get it. But really, I've just been stumbling. And all of the really cool things that I've done, all of the really cool things that have happened, I kind of stumbled into. And I've stumbled into some bad things too. This is not like I'm, you know, this beautiful, perfect, lucky person that just gets all the good things without even trying. I think we all get a mixture. And mine has been pretty well balanced, I'd say. And it's not like I'm not working hard and like I'm not trying and applying myself and looking for good opportunities. But all the good things that have happened, all of the really good stuff that I've done, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into when I was getting myself into that. I had really, really cool jobs during my undergrad. And I applied for them knowing very vaguely what it was that was expected of me. I don't remember how I became friends with Constantine. Like, legitimately do not remember the first time we had a conversation. But I think the point of my epiphany this week is that I think there's a lot of pressure on having it all figured out and knowing what you want and how you want it and how you get there and getting there and doing it and being persistent and whatever. But if we're being honest with ourselves for one goddamn minute, we realize that a lot of the stuff in our lives we stumble into, and then we make the best out of what we got. And when we can't make the best out of it, then you get rid of that and you try something new. There's no plan, there is no strategy, there is no perfect way of planning things out, because things are gonna get wrong, and you can anticipate that, and you can prepare for that. But to some extent, just accept that you stumble. That I stumble through life, and I stumble into things, and I stumble into really, really cool things, and I stumble into pretty damn bad things, and the art of life is not being prepared for it. The art of life is figuring out where you're at, and what you're gonna do with it. And that's a remarkably comforting thought right now. And one that I think holds a lot of potential. So, I'm giddy excited for this upcoming campaign. I'm giddy excited for the next year. I am just very much liking the variety of life right now. And I'm kind of proud of myself for stumbling into this. Like I said, I don't think there will be... An apocalypse? Yeah. I appreciate your positive thinking. But it also kind of scares me. My positive thinking? Don't be deluded! Prepare for the apocalypse! How many canned goods do we have? Yo, yo, yo! Oh god, so much face. Yes. Hello! Hello.